everyone welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts I'm Anna Vanilla and I have been doing um, in this month about three doilies this is one of them this one is slightly smaller it took me two days to make and as you can see it's made of crochet hook it has um, this frill around very nicely done I made my best for it to turn out to be beautiful and as you can see it's got a center the center here which is reminds me a bit of the Sun and the pattern for it is quite easy quite simple to do but still you need to be aware what what you actually do because every row contains new stitches and new ways to to do it so it's not something that you can do quick and easy and without care this is actually something where you need to think when you do it so if you're watching TV for instance um, you might still have to concentrate on the doily a bit more because it creates a bit more um, I mean the stitches are a bit a kind of thing that you need to count you need to check it and so on so you can't just watch TV and do a doily I usually switch on the music and um, and then I just knit the doily by the pattern let me show you the pattern the pattern is here as you can see it's here this is a circle it reminds me a bit of the sun this is like rays of sun and this is the edges like this one here edge edge so it's not that complicated this is um, the stitches the the um, stitches you need to make to contain this pattern and to do it correctly so to be honest I am in love with this pattern I think I'm going to do some other doilies soon but just in different colors yeah uh, this one isn't uh, actually cotton yarn it's um, uh, a yarn I made from odds and ends so I unraveled a pullover and I have knitted this this one I think I used um, uh, the hook number 150 one or 125 um, and it's very good and my my arms my hands my fingers didn't ache whilst doing this because it wasn't too much of a bigger project as you can see it's actually quite um, quite a beautiful project and basically it took me two days to do of course not like knitting every single hour of the day but I did need quite a few hours on it and I love it I don't know what about you but I just love it and I'm going to show you next the other two um, doilies I've, I've made um, the third doily is in two color tones because I finished one yarn and I didn't have any other yarn like that in color so I had to swap with um, a light blue color but all in all it turns out quite nicely so I'm going to show you the second um, doily which is 
much bigger than this and it took me three days to make. This is my second doily, as you can see it's much larger than the previous one, as you can see it's a little bit, it reminds me, so to speak, about sunflower, you can see the petal leaves and the seeds here, it's like sunflower, and as you can see it's a lot of work, a lot of careful work and counting each loop each stitch as you can see I absolutely love this pattern I think it turned out quite nicely I like this doily uh, it took me probably three to four days to make obviously not I, I wasn't needing continuously but I was knitting a couple of hours each day and this is what kind of beauty turned out after that so I don't have any regrets that I made this beautiful doily because I, I truly loved already how the pattern was looking like and so I decided to make it so this is the pattern as you can see it's um, almost like the center the sun and then the leaves and then it's um, you know this little edging which is quite nice I absolutely love it and I think it turned out to be much nicer than actually the pattern shows and I think it's fantastic, I love it, I'll be keeping it for a long time um, and see what I could do with it and maybe I'll put somewhere as a decoration, it could be any doily, it could be for instance placed on the wall in the frame so you have a glass and the frame and you put this on the wall and it will keep its shape and condition quite well and I think I could do something like that in time I'll see I'll wait and see and then this is as you can see it's finished finished project I'll show you the third doily but there's some more I should do. I should do about uh, about 50 rows I had to be doing on that. It's quite big. I don't know even where to put it so that I can show you exactly what I was doing in this month. And as you can see it's not made of, a, of cotton it's made of acrylic yarn it's also from Ordnance and I've hidden all the um, tails behind this doily and so it looks like new it looks fresh it looks fantastic it's pale pink rose color and it has I've made 23 rows in total for this um, pattern, for this um, doily and the hook was uh, 125, 1 1.25 and as you can see it's definitely very good, it's beautiful, I uh, absolutely love it and I'm going to do more like this soon because I like doing crocheting and knitting with needles for me knitting with needles is equally as relaxing and as crazy as good as um,
as uh, knitting with needles I just don't know which one I like the most do I like more crochet hook do I like knitting needle I like both so you're going to see on my channel both amaz uh, with both amazing things that I could do and share with you here is my other doily the third doily as you can see it's got pink pale pink color in the center with like beautiful beautiful flower here and these ones are reminding to me of leaves as you can see these ones they go like like so I haven't blocked this um, doily but um, as you can see it shows clearly because it's quite big uh, it shows clearly that it's a big project a lot of work has been done here I have uh, knitted this possibly uh, maybe a week uh, the yarn um, is some sort of acrylic yarn I've been using the hook number 1.5 and as you can see I haven't blocked it yet I think I have to buy something to block doilies so that they are all straight and beautifully done and and uh, the pattern to be more visible oh here's my cat and this is the pattern for this um uh, this doily as you can see it's got like these leaves and this is the center that i started with like the circle of uh, a flower and then it develops into leaves and it took me like forever really to make this uh, pattern and thank goodness it turned out quite good i'm pleased with it i love this pattern that's why i made it as you can see it's got let me see uh, 51 rows this this doily has 51 rows which is quite quite a lot of work quite a bit especially when you go around uh, as it grows as the doily develops uh, the more you work it the bigger it gets and then the uh, much more uh, time it takes to finish the row for instance then for example like the center where it's so much smaller it's small here and of course as you as you go around and everything it's like sometimes it would take me like a couple of hours just to finish one particular row for this doily so it's it's been a lot of work but all in all i'm pleased with it i love it i think it's stunning at the moment i put it on the floor and as you can see it's the detail and everything it's it's a lot of work I finished this yarn from the center that's why I ended up using blue light blue to continue this doily and it seems to to actually be quite nice combination of colors and I think it's quite stunning the way it turned out and as you can see it's beautiful I love it I hope you love it too and these are my three doilies uh, this is the bigger project this is um, um, 
obviously it's so much bigger than the other two that I've just shown you thank you very much for watching and subscribing please like my videos to know that you like my videos and I will be feeling very appreciative if you do that and for now this is what I've made this month see you soon in the next couple of videos now please enjoy